Today I'm going to show you how you can achieve some horse nails that are ombre in the background. First, I've already applied a thin base coat. Next, I'm going to take the colors yellow, orange, and red and makeup sponge for my background. First, you're going to take your red and do a line all the way across two coats. Okay, be sure to close it so that it does not dry up. Then take your orange and put it right next to it. Two layers of that as well. Okay. Then I'm going to close my orange up. And then finally, yellow. I'm going to try and blend my colors a little bit, so I'm overlapping the yellow just a little. Now I'm going to dab it a couple of times. Now with the red facing up at near the end of my nail and the yellow facing about halfway down the nail, sponging this on. Now I'm going to do this for a second time. Remember to do two coats so that it shows up pretty well. Next to my orange. and my yellow. Okay. Again, sponge it just a little bit. Then begin your second coat. Then right away, get some of your clear coat and put it over it just to blend all the colors together nicely. Now, I'm going to take some nail polish remover and my toothpick since I don't have a cotton bud available. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take my same makeup sponge that I used and use the end of that. I'm sorry for the confusion. Just to wipe up around the edges while my clear coat is drying. And don't worry if you don't have that much yellow, because we're going to add a sun in the background.
Okay. Now that's dry just a little bit. I'm going to take some black and I've cut up a plastic plate. Or not plate, I've took a plastic cup and I cut out a square. And I'm going to just dot my black onto this. Okay. And I'm also going to dot my yellow. Just about a dot or two of my yellow. Now taking my toothpick. Oops. Fell into my black. I'm going to make a half circle. You don't want this to be too big because you don't want it to overpower everything else. You may choose to leave this, but I'm going to grab some of this. And just kind of generously put some more clear coat over it. Just to blend the sun in with everything else. Kind of make it shining a little bit. Next I'm going to take my black. I need to actually turn mine so I can see what I'm doing a little bit. Make a small oval. Just across, like so. Right above my sun. Next, I'm going to make an oval down. Just a little below it. Okay. Now, getting just a little bit on my brush, I'm going to draw my legs. Also going to make it tail. Make a Y, a sideways Y shape with a line coming at the middle. Oops. Okay. Okay. Try and make it a little bit wispy. Next, make your legs a bit thicker. So that it makes me satisfied. Okay. I'm gonna make your head a bit larger depending on how big your horse's body is. Also making the mane. By doing few lines up just to kind of capture it. Making the snout a little bit. Okay. And just fixing it just a little bit. Okay. Now make your ears. by drawing a line up and slightly one in the back okay 
filling all in. And you're done. You can also choose to do the background a little bit darker by doing purples and blues and blacks. And um, that's about it. Also, you would like to do a base or a top coat and to clean up a little bit more around once it's all dry. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.